Hi everyone, welcome back to MindDesk. Today we're going to go over how to use the Grasshopper button within the interface. Once you launch your definition, make sure to keep the MindDesk button off. From there, first launch MindDesk. You'll notice the script all is triggered from three simple curves. After MindDesk is launched, you can enable all of the buttons at the same time. And you'll see it'll start to populate the model. Once the model is fully populated, let's go ahead and make a few soccer goals so we can get a sense of the scale. So just go ahead and make one there, copy it over to the other side to really start getting an idea of what size the stadium we're working with here. Once I get a sense of the scale, I can immediately get an understanding of what I do want to adjust. So I'm going to zoom out and select the outside profile turn on the nodes and you'll notice there are only five points on the curve. I'm going to select only two of them and using the move tool I'm going to sharpen the profile shape to create a different overall look for the stadium. From there you'll notice immediately it updates the structure first and then the exterior paneling as well as the interior seating and floor plates. I can also get a different perspective from the inside, this time selecting the top two points as well as the top curve, which defines the first rail of the sweep. And immediately you'll notice the structure around me begins to populate. The other components are soon to follow, and it's that simple to create a relatively complex stadium using only three simple curves. Thanks everyone, and stay tuned for more MindDesk tutorials coming up.